Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Kenshi. Today, we're sort of waiting for our research to get underway. We need plate armor crafting to get done. That's the most important one. And then we're going to start swapping out our outfits for our dudes. This, of course, is just going to take time. And in the meantime, I thought I would do some stuff nearby. First of all, unfortunately, I think our new robot companions should uh, stay at home for now. Uh, because, you yeah, know, they are extremely weak right now. I want to do a training mission with the home squad at some point, but... In this sort of transitory phase where I'm just uh, going to be setting up facilities, setting up like a plate armor pipeline, I don't think it makes sense. So I guess I'll have one of the robots be the cooking master. I don't know who is the other cook. Is it Zim? Might be Zim. There was a cook that I set up. No, it's Silvershade. Okay, I got confused because he's standing in the doorway. He always stands in the doorway. Yeah, Silver Shade can just be the Loom Master. Because uh, we're in constant need of fabric anyway. And it's not going to change anytime soon. So I guess... I think I'll have Sad Neil be... Bread Man. So he's going to set up the grain silo. Then when he's done doing that, he'll haul to the bread up. There we go. That'll be his job. Also, he really needs some clothes, so I'm going to give him a dust coat. Because it's actually disgusting that he's literally naked. There we go. Now he looks like a, <laughs> a decent human being. Uh, Elanil also could use an outfit. It's just nice to have like defensive capabilities as well. And Elanil, I think, is just going to be the other, like, leather tanner for the time being. Just get, like, even more cross-training going. Because we have, a uh, about infinite leather. And I was thinking about going and getting a little bit more uh, meat and leather as well. So that we can maybe make some stuff. I'm sure there's bulls out there. We just need to find them. Uh, we just finished plate armor crafting, which means we're going to want a uh, building... It's going to be another storm house. So this is going to be the plate armor storehouse, you know. Oh, uh, where's the entrance? Oh, here it is. It's going to be right next to the other one. The same, like, sort of zone. And build it as close to the ground as possible. Boom. And that'll end up getting filled up. While they're building that. I might as well just roam around looking for pods of dudes. We're going to want to fight like one or two packs of bulls. I just want to get 300 leather. You know. Or not leather, uh, meat. We already have like 300 leather, basically. We could go beak thing hunting instead and shem. Theoretically speaking. But I mean, nothing is going to beat the infinite... Like, hordes of wild bulls that you see sometimes out here. Oh, here's a horde of bulls. There we go. Obviously, we're going to attack unprovoked. And obviously, we're going to spread the fuck out. Because the last thing we need are these bulls just uh, AoE maxing on us. Yeah, look at that. That's some good fighting. <laughs> and the bulls seem a little bit confused. Ah ha ha, I got outplayed. I'll let it smack cat. Oh, nice dodge cat. He dodged it again. Dude, this bull is attacking so fast. How is he supposed to keep up with this shit? All I can do is defend. Oh, he got a kick in. Oh, he's getting the attacks in. I guess the bull just has like a higher attack priority or whatever. <laughs> Some of them are standing up. Bite them, Griffin. Uh, I'm going to have, I guess, Meow start doing the looting. I'll grab the horns too. The horns aren't... 
Excuse me? <laughs> the bull just fucking sat back down. That's hilarious. I guess it was in the process of getting up and it didn't look like it because it's a bull. So its animations are special, you know? Alright, I think that's all the bulls. Just doing like a quick double check, clicking through here. We got about a bajillion pieces of meat. That's going to serve us well for the coming seasons. Uh, definitely we'll just have to like rinse and repeat once another like pack of bulls is available. In the meantime, we have a whole new place. So we're going to want a plate beating station. That's the uh, plate armor equivalent of the leather tanning bench. Um, I kind of want to put two of them, so I will, just in case we, I don't know, need two of them. We're going to want a fabric chest as well, and a storage for the armor plates, which we may or may not want two of them, so I might as well just plop another one down. We're building this to last, you know. And then... Heavy Armor Smithy. Oh, it looks interesting. Like it's kind of like boxy design. Guess we won't be able to fit more than one of them in this place, but that is whatever. Then, last but not least... We go up to the roof. Uh, we're gonna want just a couple armor storage chests. There we go. So that's that, like, whole setup. Setup. Okay, that's kind of disconcerting. Uh, I think I want to... Dismantle a couple, of the, a couple of these. What the hell is he getting stuck on? Excuse me? What is this invisible object? Hold up. Is this it? No, it's still there. What the fuck? Okay, I don't think it has anything to do with the station. Well, I'm gonna put the smithy, like, a <laughs> back here again, I guess. Dude. This actually pisses me off. Okay, I heard there's a F12 menu. I'm gonna see... No, that just... Takes a screenshot. Whatever. I'm just gonna... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build something... That occupies the space here. So that these people know the path around it. So I guess I'll just do, like, a storage, uh, I don't know, one iron plates. Oh, we can probably move Cat back a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So that'll get built. And then people will rock, walk around it, hopefully. Okay, I think we've successfully, like, wallpapered over the thing. Also, uh, these guys don't recognize that there's building materials. No, it looks like Jinsei has. Okay, uh, so who's gonna be beating plates? I don't know, probably could, but I want to be, like, kind of quick about it. For the time being. I guess I could have bombing him, uh, pick up the play beating, because he should have... Yeah, he's got 60 armor smithing. There we go. So he's going to be doing that. We probably need someone mining iron as well. Oh shit, plate beating needs iron. Raw iron to work. Then we double are going to need an iron miner. Oh, it looks like Zim's mining the iron. Okay, we should be fine then. Okay, so for our armor. First of all, what is a police helmet? So it covers 100% of the head. It fucks up your dodging. Uh, so it sucks. 
Nobody knows why it's called a police helmet, as the samurai police don't wear these. Perhaps it's another old empire remnant. Pretty sure the samurai helmet... No, it also has the dodge penalty. Interesting. It's a pretty good helmet otherwise, I'm pretty sure. And there's samurai armor. Yeah, it notably it has a combat speed negative modifier, but has no uh, dexterity negative modifier, which is nice. I guess that's why it's meta that and it uh, covering the arms and stomach. And it's high cut resistance efficiency. Pretty sure it's uh, the stuff that I'm gonna want. Could be doing plate jackets as well, theoretically speaking. I'm gonna start with samurai armor. And Molly, you might as well start making those, but uh, we need torches in here first. I usually just use torch posts because they are free, basically, and uh, don't require power, which makes them, generally speaking, just very good. Oh, speaking of things that are good, uh, we're going to want to upgrade our bench as well so we might as well get that rolling oh our uh, research bench is done so can i get uh high level advanced weapon grades okay i could get katoon too oh that's really not much but whatever I will add it to the queue. We're going to need to continue to research this for a while. But hey, once we've got that, then our katanas will be a little bit better. It'll probably take a little bit more time to make them. They'll sell for a little bit more. My sort of like midterm goal is going to be setting up a uh, mark two or three weapons, hopefully. However, I don't think that is going to be really realistic for the time being. So I guess we'll just have to settle with what we've got in our inventory right now. Which is some, uh, Katoon weapons. Unless we wanted to go buy some. But I like the challenge of making my own weapons, you know. One thing I was also considering as well... Was... Setting up more of the squad to... Be using pull arms. My reasoning is basically that it would be helpful to build up our main squad's dexterity because dexterity is so tied into attack speed. It just uh, would seem foolhardy not to. Uh, do I have to redo this queue? I do. Okay, well, I, that's what I shall be doing. Let's see, I could do no dachis, actually. Let's see, katana. Takes seven materials for 20 hours. No dachi. 24 for 10. Mm, it seems like a similar-ish ratio. No, it is worse ratio-wise. Materials to stuff. So anything that takes even more time than a katana? Plank does. But also takes more materials. It looks like katanas are kind of the way. What about toppers, actually? So it's a 2 to 1 ratio. Are toppers any good? Let's see, 1.08, a little bit of blunt, and minus 15 armor pen. Versus the katana, which has got hat, or even more negative armor pen. But it's got plus 10% damage versus humans. And it's got more bleed. But less damage. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, for now, uh, I'll just do Katoon to Katanas. Katunas, if you will. We have our first Samurai armor as well. I guess I'll put it on Mr. Torp, because he was the first adopter of the Samurai armor lifestyle in the past as well. Only makes sense that he's like a heavy armor uh, enjoyer. Yeah, look at that. 
He's almost got the full set. We're gonna need some like good helmets as well. That looks pretty badass. It's got 70% cut resistance with 90% efficiency. So it's like 63% reduction in damage. And 52% for blunt as well. Covers most of the body. Has some downsides for sure. Oh, I think the downside, the combat speed penalty, it seems like a little bit smaller than what I initially thought. I think maybe the higher quality of the armor than the preview picks up. Uh, also, simultaneously, I saw that there was some bulls. A very small amount of bulls, but we might as well continue our, our bull crusade. There we go. Another day. Another horde of buffalo. This will probably be the last one that we need to uh, fight for now. Uh, half this party needs to back the fuck up. So they're going to get their asses like destroyed. There we go. Green numbers. Those are the numbers I want to see. That's Those are good green numbers. It's the opposite of last time, which is all red numbers. You can see the good armor coming to work. Never mind, those are the lake plates. How good are Mr. Torb's lake plates? Standard grade. Oh, when we make some high grade lake plates, shit's gonna be so fucking awesome. Might as well have Mr. Torb do the looting now. Once again, this is very similar to the previous time, so I'm just gonna silently do this. Edit it out of the video. I think everything is full. That's pretty badass. Uh, I mean, obviously the simplest solution is just to have even more storage. So I think meat is the top one. And then skins are the bottom one. Just get those built and then and continue to ditch the resources. Also, I want a building material storage that's, uh, not on the opposite side of the map. This should be fine. Yep, we've got almost 400 meat now. And a little bit over 300 skins. Pretty good. Alright, look at that. We are actually kitted out like crazy. We've got never-before-seen levels of armor. Each one of us in at least specialist grade samurai armor and each one of us with a at least specialist grade masked helmet, which uh, here is the stats for one of those. 63 cut resistance, 70% efficiency, doesn't really have that many downsides, it's just a minor perception debuff, which who cares? And also it covers 100% of the head. I really like the masked helmet. I feel like it's a very good helmet. It's like Ruka got one of the Masterwork Samurai Armors, which, by the way, does have slightly less of a combat speed penalty. I put Griffin in some uh, Unholy uh, Armor, because I thought it would be thematically appropriate, you know, since he was from the Holy Nation. It's a little unfortunate that everyone looks pretty much identical, but it's the price of being, like, turbo kitted out. I definitely need to re-analyze my, like, workflow once I, uh finish the episode out as I had to switch everyone to like iron mining so there's probably like kinks in the system now but I think the bla the base isn't going to explode there's an errand that we need to run now that we're back back in town that is of course to take revenge on the black dragon ninjas so that is what I'll do uh, I probably should um Take some food as well. Ugh, out of trading range. Lame. There we go, this should be more than enough. Everyone's gonna be a little bit uh, encumbered as well for a little while. There's not really much I can do other than uh, uh, run people around with iron in their inventory or get into more fights. But that is whatever, it's a problem that'll slowly sort itself out over time. 
So people will just eventually get strong enough where it won't matter. Here we go. Here's these fuckers. <sighs> Fighting them in the day is going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass because there's these turret guys. We could just like rush in though, I guess. But all of our weapons are terrible indoors. It's going to be a mild pain. We could just tank the blows. We should have pretty ridiculous harpoon resistance. Yeah, 85 points. I guess I'll just run up and, uh, you know, if they start shooting at me, then... And if it looks like I'm taking much damage, I can just run inside. Oh, they're just not going to say anything? <laughs> I like how they're just constantly changing guards. Who the fuck are you? They don't like it when I trespass. Oh ho ho, a fly caught in the web. What do we have here? Hmm. This person's got a $20,000 bounty. Don't usually get visitors. Can I cut them? I think this is the other bounty. Yeah, Boozan. I thought Maul was their leader. Make a mess, Boo. I'll paint a heart with their blood just for you, Mackie. Wait, D Mac is named Mackie? Oh, it's Mac. Okay. I'll make a necklace of bone for your sinewy trapezius. And I'll make them sing your name in gurgles and screams. Unfortunately for them, I don't think... Actually, hold up, I think we're getting our ass escaped a little bit. That's not good. I mean... No, there's a lot of green numbers. I think we're fine. Yeah, false alarm. We're doing good. All our dudes inside are relying on their, like, sidearm weapons, but luckily I kind of traded those out for decent ones. Semi-recently. The Black Dragon Ninjas are now hostile to me. Look, they're not hostile to me. I was hostile to them, okay? They raided my base. You know? They have no right to complain about people ra raiding their base. What's in this person's inventory, anyways? A Mato class ninja blade. I guess Ruka can steal that. And they've got ninja rags and some sandals, which I'll yoink. Uh, probably should pick up DMAC as well. Alright, what about this person? And they just have two dog shit ones. Dog shit ninja blades. I, I mean, no, they're even worse than my katana. That's kind of pathetic. But whatever, I will kidnap Buzan as well. It's a little bit sketchy. I think all the squads going up to fight the dudes on the ceiling. So, that's nice at least. Yeah. You little shits. Taking pot shots at me. All your friends get BTFO'd. Should be ashamed. <laughs> I do like other TPing down. Is Boozan healed? Or does Meow not have a first aid kit? Meow does have a first aid kit. How come she can't uh, first aid Boozan? Oh yeah, by the way, a uh, cat has a plate armor jacket. I figured eventually he's going to want samurai armor, but I wanted the plate armor jacket for the time being because I didn't want to hinder his uh, martial arts too much. Because if your martial arts is too low, it becomes too hard to train martial arts. Dude, the fucking air kicks are so badass. Dude, cat has grown as a warrior. He used to be... Just, like, so mediocre. At best. 
Now here he is doing sky... What? Dust bandits? What the hell? Where did they come from? How good is the Mato Ninja Blade anyways? 1.76 cutting. That's really good, actually. It's extremely not bad. No, I'm not going to say no. Some practice smack and some dust bandits. Back to the abyss you go, bandits. Oh, they're even taking out the crawlers. It's okay. The, the Genins, they would do the same to us. Uh, it doesn't look like they have a cat of their own either. Not sure how much uh, treasure they've got. Either, but... Just the bounties are pretty much good enough. What, they have a locked container? Uh, I guess Mr. Torp can uh, pick that. 8% chance to... To pick it? Excuse me? Also, who's detecting stealing? I want these guys playing dead. They better not be. You. You're getting fucking flung from the cliffs. Get out of here. Little bastard. Okay, what else is in here? Some sake. Gives a shit. Rice bowl. They raised the alarm. Fucking crush this man. Cat, do not aggro random dudes. You know, we're getting some pretty good block picking farming off of this. There better be some good shit in here. That's all I'm saying. Oh. Model Mark II. Uh, ring it saber. Uh, that's the only thing that's worth half a damn here. But, you know. Uh, that could probably be something that Kang uses. Right, he's got like a kind of... A dog shit heavy pull arm. I mean, it does kind of look. Yeah, no, this is over twice as much damage. It's got less armor pen, but uh, even still, uh, I guess I'll put this in here. We'll take. We'll take this, and then Ruka can take the heavy pull arm. Back. Because why not? Hold saber, don't really care for. <laughs> Portion of metal cut out of the far end of the blade makes it slightly faster and more maneuverable. Most swordsmen can't notice the difference, others swear by it. I have a feeling that it's an extremely marginal difference, at best. Uh, these guys aren't dead, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Might be dead after that one. Let's see. Looks like the other person is turbo comatose as well. Don't want them dying before they get back to, uh... You know. Imprisonment. Get back to Squin. Don't think there's anything else really that I care about. Oh, hold on. There is a lock. <laughs> I see this... Dude's still crawling away. That's hilarious. Dude. How... How long have they been crawling? Oh no. The gang noticed him. That's tragedy. Oh well. Oh, they're hostile to me again. I want them lost a limb. Look, that's what they get for trying to rob me. Just is what it is. Alright, in this place there is an ancient science book. Hell yes. Naginata's. Uh, I've already got the research, but sure. Black plate, plate jacket. Don't really care. Grog worth a thousand. Absolutely yes. Some food, sure. Rum. I guess I'll take. Dude, I hate these people catching me stealing. Cargo pants padded. I didn't realize that was armor. It's kind of foul, but it is whatever. See, there's slavers. 
Well, none of us are down, so I don't really care. Yep, that's pretty much it for this place. Guess I'm gonna just head on home. I guess head on to Squin, really. It's not like we have anywhere else that we can uh, go with these corpses. Yeah, we definitely could take on these slave mongers. I don't really feel the need to right now. How healthy are we, anyways? Okay, some of us are kind of fucked. The others are not so fucked. It's a good showing. <laughs> Welcome to slavery. This is a good showing for this armor. There's a little bit of a rocky fight, and everybody moves really, really slow. But... At the end of the day, uh, we are much more durable than we used to be. I feel like, I kind of feel like this is a fight we maybe would have lost with our leather armor. Just because of how, like, shaky it was. I mean, I kind of doubt it. Oh, are you joking? Fucking hungry bandits. A little shit. This is very nice. It's always nice to get Kang a new weapon as well. He's eventually going to have the 100 dex. It's going to be amazing. Every time he swings a dex-based weapon, he's just getting more and more dex. One day it'll catch up to his strength. Which will be cool. It's nice to be back in Squin. I will say. You can see the squad going to eat in the meat barrel. It just feels nice and familiar, you know? It's very nostalgic to see this little, like, operation we had set up. It's everything just, like, tightly packed together because there's just no room. Oh, Griffin could train in the uh, bench while we're here. I guess first things first, uh, we need to turn in some deuter, or turn in these deuters. Uh, excuse me? Did I pick up the wrong dude? Uh, what about, uh... <laughs> excuse me? Please tell me these guys have bounties in the fucking Shetland. Do you have confiscated goods to sell? No. Are you joking? Fuck, they probably have bounties in the Holy Nation. Let's see. Yeah. Well, I mean, that ship is fucking sailed. Oh, well. You know, they get to roam free. I shouldn't have banished him. I should have just let him die. It is what it is. I guess we'll stay in here for a little bit just to recuperate from our uh, trials and tribulations. No reason to just heal on the road when we've got perfectly acceptable beds here. And then I guess we'll get back to home base just to plan our next move. The heavy armor we've got has definitely like opened up possibilities for us. So we could probably get in a little bit more trouble. I'm kind of thinking that the Crab Coast, this like area near Black Scratch seemed like it had some pretty good enemies. Maybe we could we could go for some of the ancient science books in the like bottom left corner of the map. There's like berserkers to fight uh, in this whole area too. I don't know, it's a, it's a world of possibilities. We'll just have to see. Obviously, would appreciate input.